Hey, what's up with everybody? Welcome back to the Complete Cards channel. Now today we'll be looking at this MetaZoo Cryptid Nation 2nd Edition Booster Box. I'll also have some surprise packs. They're actually just Halloween promo packs. I did a poll on Instagram to say, should I open these or should I sell them? And the verdict was to open them. Let me know in the comments, do you think they'll be hot or not? Stay tuned to the end of the video where I will be opening these up. Now back to this booster box. Let's take a look at this second edition booster box. For the most part, it looks the same outside of, you know, the second edition stamps right there that are on the box. The sticker also says second edition. Second edition logo is kind of all over this box. So for the second edition, this is not something that I think you need to actually hold. I think you can open these up. We'll be searching for that blue ink card or that gold hollow Mothman, um, Sam, Jersey Devil, Blue Ox. You know I need that ghost train. So my recommendation is to open this box up. So I'm going to do so today. I am going to speed through these packs just because, I mean, it's second edition. Um, what we, I mean, like I said, we really just want that blue ink card and the hollows. So give me a moment where I take these packs out of the box. I am going to pre-cut them. I will put this uh, box topper right here and I will pre-cut all of the booster packs. But like again, once I say it again, you know, this is the second edition. So we care, but we don't care that much. And while I'm opening these up, I'll try not to talk your head off for the whole time, but um, I've been following different uh, TCGs and stuff like that. Akora and uh, Titan, Cryptic, Nostalgic, and uh, let me know which one are you all following? Which one should I pay more attention to? At this point in time, I'm kind of just waiting and seeing to see how things work out for, for everyone, but those are my top ones. And if you need a, a creative director, you know, somebody to give you some insight on the market where I think it's everything is going, let me know. Feel free to reach out. I feel like I've got some good ideas. All right, so we've got everything open for the most part. So back to MetaZoo. Here is our box topper. Let's see what we got here. And Boom, okay, snowing. That is pretty clean right there. Always love these box toppers. Go ahead and sleeve this snowing one up. Does it say second edition on it? It does not really say second edition, but it's got like a cool little logo, six out of 10. Not bad. So we got the snowing one. And I think we still start with the right side. Not sure if this is first pack magic, but we shall see how this turns out for us. All right, like I said, we're going to basically power through these because we've already seen them for the most part. <laughs> what we care about are the hollows for the most part. Verse hollow space penguins. Yep, just one card right there. And it looks like we have auras and terras in this one. Tokens look like they're going to not be here. But I guess that was just for Nightfall anyway. Yeah, a lot of these are bronze cards. Skeleton, Book of Shadows, Luck Potion. And then we have our next one, which is another gold. Well, no, the first one was a bronze. But this is a reverse hollow beast of Busco. Put that over there. I don't know. Second edition, I would say if we're gonna if you're gonna make a second edition, it should definitely come out before you make your next set. I think if you're gonna have a second edition, you probably should have ooh, first full hollow here. Chessy. And that is a gold. Not bad. So we have we're one for three right now with the hollows, but we are two out of three for gold. We have two golds right now. Yeah, if you're going to make a first edition... Oh, sorry. 
first edition and a second edition. And a new set. I think your first set should be like 210 cards. Right, let's just use that. Reverse Hollow, Snow Wasset. And your first edition box, if you have a set that's 200 cards, should only have, oh sorry, 210. Should only have 200 cards in it. Right, and with your 200 that you put in the first edition, you put 210 in the second edition, which is 200 cards that'll be second edition, and 10 cards that will be first edition. I know, we're trying to stick it up. So we have a reverse hollow uh, gold mermaid scales here. So we're batting at like, we are three out of five right now, as far as like getting gold hollows. Only one has been a full hollow. Yeah, you got 210, 10 new cards in the second set. And they're all first edition. That's how I would do it. And then we have a reverse hollow ghost here. Now you know I'm collecting that ghost deck, so this is gonna be this is a big hit for me in the PC. So I gotta put that on. I gotta put that on the left side because I got that ghost here. Um now we're starting to catch up. We're, we're now we're, we're now tied three to three. We got three golds, three non-golds. Autofocus is it's disrespectful today. Yeah, oh, well, I kind of already showed it, so I'm just going to go straight to it. This is a whole dag full hollow second edition. One of my favorite cards. And I believe this card will be in Wilderness, so. Whole dag, go ahead and get you one of those. From the Cryptic Nation set. Yeah, I feel like you, you all get my point. Which is just to make your second edition have some some more value here by making uh, your second edition have 10 first edition cards that were not in the first edition. That's just my thought. All right, here we go. Bat Squatch, that is a reverse hollow. And that is a bronze. All right, Bunny Man, second edition. Got the River Dinos, let's see. Old Green Eyes. <laughs> Squonk, and there we go, babe, the Blue Ox. Full hollow right there. That's a big hit for us. Big hit for us today. All right, so we're, we're doing okay. I think this is one of our... One of the cards I was searching for, I didn't name it earlier, but yeah, that is one we definitely wanted. Let's see if it's, can I get that back in focus there? Oh, I mean, it's clean. It's clean. All right, it's starting to even out. This looks actually like a pretty good um, booster box. Killer Clown. Hopefully we get that blue ink or misprint. Hopefully we get like a god pack or something. You know, that'd be great. And now we have a reverse hollow. This is a gold Snelly Gaster. I mean, this feels pretty even to me. Let me know in the comments what you think. Got to put it in the right direction for good luck. Got to get the feng shui right. It's all about the feng shui. All right, alien. Gumaru, Poison Arrow, Telekinesis, I think I see our gold is a blue card, which could be Beast of Busco, yep, that's what I thought. So we have two Beast of Buscos, Reverse Hollows, nope, no other card behind that. Bookmark, I almost want to put all the Hollows to the side, and it's, it's almost like the Hollows, it's like they know, right? I'm not even trying to show the hollow every time, but it just always kind of like pops out by itself. Mahine, reverse hollow, silver. All right, watch this. All right, I'm going to pull the cards out. I'm going to do a slight little... I'm going to do a slight touch. And those, oh, okay. Well, I didn't do it that time. It's a pretty cool uh, 
There we see. You see how, see how I did that? It like it wants to show you what the gold is about to be. That's not me. See? See how the cards are kind of like... These cards are together. Right? But the gold is just sitting out there like, yo, put me on game. So Giant Salamander, Reverse Hollow. It's almost like it just wants to be revealed. This is a cool looking card. Chaos Potion. Fill on that one. <laughs> All right, so Dragon's Breath. Yeah, let me know which card do you want in second edition. Giant Salamander and back-to-back -back packs. And that is a Reverse Hollow and a Bronze. So we're just about through the first side. And this is where you will see that my cutting skills began to uh, diminish. I think this was my first pack. So I kind of messed up on the first one. But I got it together after that one. Probably my worst cutting is going to be these next couple packs. And if you see my videos, you'll know that I struggle on uh, opening and cutting packs. And boxes. Um, like I said, it's something I have to have to live with. Um, had to build my confidence up a little bit more, I guess. Get stronger in that room. Power up green. And now we have a full hollow power up red. There we go. Second edition. That was another good card for us right there. Another great card for us. Yeah, we haven't had a, a gold full hollow in a while. But at this point in time, we have one, two, three, four hollows that are gold so definitely a lot better than my nightfall booster box <laughs> if you haven't seen that video um from what i from what i heard it was one of the worst nightfall booster boxes there are so go back i might even put the link in the description here because i need someone else to give me another verdict give me another opinion on that did i have the worst booster box of all time in nightfall and if not, tag you know, tag me and who had it worst. I want to I want to compare. Here we go. This is a hollow death beam, looking really crispy. So so far, I feel like I feel like I'm doing okay. And like I said, for that price point of eighty three or eighty dollars or seventy seven, this is not bad. It's not bad. I think it's gonna get a little lower. So I don't think you need to jump on it right now. But you can if you want to, because I think the blue inks, like I was stating before, they're either gonna be in these first couple of boxes. But you also gotta realize that. For the second edition, I don't, I don't think they put out, oh my, I don't think they put out all the blue inks. I think they still have some in storage. And that is just to make sure these second editions have value, you know, two, three years from now. So people can still pull blue inks. I think they will, because they got to give some to Target, right? Some got to go to Target. Got to be able to pull it. Oh, there we go. We'll see what this last card is. And then we'll look at this Snally Gaster Full Hollow. I mean, that's pretty cool. We got the reverse and the full. You know what? These second edition cards may have some value. Oh, snap. I cannot get that focus back. Oh, that's that's crazy. Okay, hold on. Give me one second. Give me one second. All right. And the reason might be if they have these boxes boosted. I'm not saying they should boost the boxes, but if they are boosted... In terms of the hollows that you can get. I actually put that on the wrong side. My bad. Based off the hollows that you can pull. Because we have a lot of gold hollows. Of course, you know, we've got reverse and we've got full. But we have a lot. <laughs> this is one of my favorite cards in the, in the first, uh, first edition as well. Yeah, this balancing beam card is hilarious. High and behind, that is hilarious. Scatter shot. And now we have a reverse hollow. Salem's Witches. And then we've got our last two cards here. I did see that the second edition spell books are actually pretty hot. So if you want to get in on those and not actually buy a booster box, you could probably do that too. But the booster boxes are just about the same price as the spell book. So I would get a booster box if I got if I was gonna get anything, it'd be a booster box first. Versus the spell book, but I think I think if you're gonna hold something sealed, I think the thing that you want to hold sealed is the um, spell books, just because of the price point. Like if they're going for like thirty dollars or something, thirty some dollars or lower, oh, you have to get the squint, uh reverse hollow. Like that is just has to be done. I'm glad I was able to pull that in second edition. Yeah, if anything, hold those. 
because those are those would be the ones that like if you bought them for thirty, you know, two three years now they're gonna be going for sixty. So you'll double your money. But nah, I don't think I don't see this box going for fifty dollars or sixty dollars or seventy dollars, and then two three years from now it's going for one hundred and eighty. Like I I don't see that happening. That's just my personal opinion. Let me know what you think. Wow. Two babe the blue oxes in one box. You know what? I think I have a good box. You know what? I think this might be a good box. Was that the last pack on this side? I've actually just been pulling cards. I forgot to check. Was that last pack magic that we just got right there? Last I don't know. I forgot to look. No, it wasn't. It was probably first pack magic. I, I don't know. I actually don't remember. That's on me. <laughs> my bad on that one. Cactus cat. Joint snake. That looks cool. Matt Locks was one of our favorite cards in my other box openings and while i'm plugging that uh i do have some first edition spellbook videos and release event videos i've got some uh nightfall event videos i mean sorry nightfall release event and then we have a forest gods amber hollow i mean i you know i'm saying we've been hitting we've been hitting recently this that was this is pretty good i don't know if this means i have a good box though Yeah, let me know. Share this video. And let's do a comparison on Instagram or YouTube. Link the other person's video or your video in the description. Or just comment and say, check out my box and I'll come check out. We can we can battle. We can have a box battle. Maybe we can set something up. And here we have a reverse hollow lizard man. I mean, that's pretty clean. I'm not going to lie. Lizard Man is actually Crocodile, but I still like that. Yeah, I would say, yeah, I, I want to say the past couple have been, um, have been pretty good. So we got this Haste card, Metal Man of Alabama, Just riding around in this one. This is probably a funny card. I want this Moon-Eyed People in Reverse Hollow, um, just because I want to see what the, how they'll do that. Sewer Alligator. Light beam, we don't have that yet, do we? And it's the hollow Matlock's reverse. Cards. Uh, we don't have them off, man. We do have blue ox. Ghost train. Alright, I need everyone to focus their energy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We need to build a spirit bomb right now. Okay, there we go. He had a reverse hollow white thing. We don't have a Sam card either. All right, okay, I spoke light. I spoke light beam into existence. Is it going to come for us? No, this is a reverse hollow forest gods amber. So we have, we're getting a, we're getting a few cards. Uh, double where we have there. Hollow and full hollow. I mean, sorry, hollow and reverse hollow. Oh, auto focuses. Has been playing games with me today. All right, buddy, man. <laughs> White thing again. Silver cat. That was probably the first time we've seen that one in this booster box. Hide behind. We need that in reverse hollow. Shock aura. Yeah, we can use that. Okay, Fresno Nightcrawler's full hollow here. Let's see what that looks like in the light. Yeah, well, let me know which which. Hollow Gold so far has been the best hit. I'm going to say it was Babe the Blue Ox until we got two of them. Now I think it's Death Beam. Come on, Moth Man. Come on, Moth Man. We need you to show up to work today. I also want like that Tesseract. I'm thinking I'm not pronouncing the name correctly at this point in time because I forgot how many letters are in that name. If I see the name, I'll get it right, but... Uh oh, is that it right there? Ooh, Loveland Frogman Reverse Hollow. Could not get the hollow form. Forgot about this card. We do need this card in hollow form. That hurts just a little bit. But that is clean looking. Loveland Frogman with the reverse. All right, so we're getting close to the end of these. And 
this is why I'm suggesting that you open it is just because I'm satisfied. I'm satisfied with this booster box, uh, especially for the price um, with 80, 70, you know, you're not going to go wrong with that. It's just not going to happen. You can't go wrong with the price right now. First time we've seen that one. And here we go. Mahine Reverse Hollow. This is our second one of these. Because you, you're just hoping that you get that blue ink. You're hoping you get a whole bunch of hollows, which we have. We've got a whole bunch of gold hollows, so no issues so far on that. And then it hasn't been like a whole bunch of like, you know, uh, silver reverse hollows or bronze reverse hollows. Like we've got enough gold. We have, even though we have a lot of hollows, we've got enough reverse hollows. This is a Flatwoods Monster reverse hollow. We don't have that many duplicates either. There are a few, not that many. And even in the duplicates we do have, we have like, uh, we need this Chibi Mothman too. Um, but yeah, in the duplicates we do have, we have at least the hollow and then the reverse hollow. It's not just like two reverse hollows of the same card. Um, so, I mean, it's pretty diverse. To me, at least. Okay, Joint Snake is our reverse hollow. It looks amazing in this grass. So this, I'm going to say, even though it's a bronze, this is probably one of my favorite cards um, so far. And it does give you the chance to like actually get to look at a lot of these cards. I didn't get to see that many cards because, of course, that first edition box, you know, price went through the roof. Um, it's hard to get those cards. <laughs> so I, I haven't really seen a lot of these cards, actually. Me personally. Of course, I've seen in other people's hands and other people's decks and stuff like that. But in my physical hand, no. This is my first time seeing a lot of these cards. So a second Power Up Red second edition. That was a hollow as well. All right, there we go. And a dude. Okay, shadow people. Yeah, there are a lot of cards, and you know what? I'm a little upset that we have so many duplicates. Yeah, I mean, this is cool, it's Death Beam, but there's a lot of cards that we've gone through that we don't have. Yeah, there are a lot of cards that I say we've gone through that we don't have. So the fact that we have like two Death Beams and two Power Up Reds, you know, I do wish we had other cards that were hollows, but I might be asking for too much. These are really good cards, so not too upset. And let's see what we got here. Ooh, Sewer our Alligator Reverse Hollow. Also, probably one of the top cards, too. This reverse hollow for Sue Alligator because his character or their character takes up majority of the cards. So even though it's a reverse hollow, it's still like a full hollow. So those cards, I think, are also sleepers. Uh, if you're looking for like a card to collect or a card to save. I think that's going to be one. And cards that like really look really well in with their background, like that Joint Snake, even though it's not, you know, like a gold or anything like that. I think that's going to stand the test of time. Silver Cat cracks me up every time. Hide Behind really cracks me up every time. Okay, I want that card to be what I want it to be. So let's see what it is. Lake Worth Monster Reverse Hollow. Do you guys want to see like Terra cards and, and Aura cards um, able to be like hollows and reverse hollows in this? In these booster boxes? I'm kind of on the fence with that one. I basically just showed every card, but that's fine because we really just wanted to see what the gold is. So what is our gold? Piazza Bird Reverse Hollow. That is a pretty fire hit. Been waiting to get this card. I wish that flame was hollow. Like, as you can see, Piazza Bird is hollow, but yeah, I wish that flame was hollow. Take a moment to sleep that one up. All right, last two packs. What do you think? Fire, no fire, will there be heat? I say the Mothman pack is going to have the heat in it. Let's see. Can I call it right? All 
right, here we go. Oh, wait, one more. Sewer alligator reverse hollow. Okay. All right, that's a good start for me to call it. All right, let's see. Mothman. Pack. Will you have the Mothman that we've been... Uh-oh. Chibi Mothman in the front. Hold on now. Hey, look. I just want to put on the record that I called it, so... Here we go. Fireball. Necromancy. Sam's four-leaf clover. Infield monster. Icy path. Kentucky hellhound. And... There you go. What did I, did I call it? Did I call it? Did I call it? Last pack magic. Mothman pack. This is probably one of the best cards we can get. Oh, that's lit. Oh, that's lit. I was trying to say let's go and lit at the same time. <laughs> oh, that's lit. It might be a new word. Oh, that's lit. You don't say lit. Because you're trying to say let go and... Or let's go and lit at the same time. So, oh, that's lit. Woof. All right, so let's do a recap real quick, and then we'll get to the Halloween packs. So starting with our silver and bronze. I kind of have a, uh, an order, but not really. So this is Lake, Mo Lake Worth Monster. I believe we pulled two of these. It's reverse. These should all be reverse, unless I messed up. Joint Snake, Sewer Alligator. We like that one. Mahine, we like that one. Sewer Alligator, we like that one. Matlocks, okay. Okay, Salem's Witch. Kind of okay for the Giant Salamander. I actually pulled both of those back to back. That's pretty pretty funny. Mahine, yeah, like I said, okay. Bat Squash, Reverse High Low. I, I think that's actually a lot better. Snow Wasset, not so much. And Space Penguins is our last one. And that was just our silver and our bronze. Let me see if I can get the gold here. Now, this is the Squonk. It is a silver, but, I mean, it's got the level of a, uh, of a gold. One of our most recent hits is Piazza Bird, Reverse Hollow, gold here. We have a... We have a Flatwoods Monster. And a Loveland Frogman. One of our top... So, we have Piazza Bird and Loveland. We have Forest Gods, Amber, Lizard Man. I want to say that was pretty good too. Beast of Busco, we actually got two of these. Snellygaster was pretty good too. Mermaid Scales, and then our second Beast of Busco. For the Hollows, I actually put this one here, and that's just because that's one of my favorite cards. You know, I'm collecting the Ghost cards. Did not get a Ghost Train, did get a Ghost Deer. So not bad. All right, so we got this Q. Pretty, pretty good hit for us. Death Beam, we did get two of these. Power Up Red, we got two of these. Fresno Nightcrawlers, Full Hollow. Force God Amber, got two of these. Babe the Blue uh, Ox, Snally Gaster, we have one. Death Beam, this is the second one. This is the second, uh, Babe the Blue Ox. Hodog, second one. And the Chessie. And for our Box Topper. Here we go. It's pretty clean. All right. Last chance. Are these packs hot or not? I'm going to say they're hot. I called, I called that last pack magic too. So I want my credit where credit is due. I was going to put these, like I put these on eBay, right? I did not want to open these because I wanted to give them to the community. But then the community said, complete cars, open the packs. Do it. Do it for the team. Boom. <laughs> Headless Horseman. Headless Horseman, first pack, right there. Mm, 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 mm. I mean, I, I said it. I said this was going to be hot. I said it. I said, should I open these? Should I not? I don't know what to tell you. I, I didn't want to. I put them on eBay. I literally put them on eBay. All right. So far, we're one for one. Let's see what this one's in this one. I'm just going to put that on the record that that is not on me because I put these on eBay. And I did a poll. So, sorry. Here we go. All right, so non hollow treat no trick. All right, our last one. This is the second edition that we pulled that Headless Horseman. All 
Wow, that, that melted like butter. All right, here we go. All right, treat no trick. All right, so we were one for three. First edition. This is where it really matters. This is going to determine if I was right or not. Uh, they, they melt like butter. Okay, here we go. All right, Kinder Hook Crackle Bar. All right, nothing there on that first edition. Uh oh, last two. I'm one for four. Uh oh. What is going to happen here? One for four. All right. We'll let that come back into focus. And, ooh, Headless Horseman's Pumpkin Gummy. So that goes with the Headless Horseman. I am one for five. Oh, snap. I'm nervous. Is anyone else nervous right now? Because we would need one more holo to save this, these packs. I did say they were going to be fire. All right, here we go. Ooh, Kinder Hook Crackle Bar. Wow. Wow. So technically, I, I mean, you got to let me know. Were they fire or were they not fire? This is the only hollow we pulled. Was it worth one hollow? Um, I'm not sure where I can't get that right now. One hollow. Headless Horseman. Second edition. This is not the first edition. It is the second edition. Yeah, let me know in the comments. Is it worth it? Was it worth it? Did I do right? Did I save you all? Did I hurt you all? Let me know which one, you know, which one is going for you. Make sure you take some time to subscribe to the channel. Hit that like button if you're still rocking with me all the way to the end of this video. Um, social in the description. I'll put the links to a couple of these MetaZoo videos in the description so you can check those out. Other than that, thanks for tuning in. And until next time. This is Complete Cards, and I'm out of here. So I want to do one more recap on this second edition MetaZoo Cryptid Nation booster box. And that's just because I had a lot of harsh things to say about it, but actually that was a really fun rip. I felt like there were a lot of cards that I pulled, a lot of cards that I hadn't seen before, just because I, I didn't get my hands on that first edition uh, booster box. So just to like recap a little bit more, right? Like here is a gold full hollow another gold hollow now this is a gold reverse hollow but then we have another gold hollow and um one of my favorites these are some of my favorites as well which is uh of course you of course you know i want this ghost deck uh but here's another gold hollow gold hollow another gold hollow and then these are probably the biggest hits of the box which is gold hollow reverse hollow reverse hollow that's gold another gold hollow and another gold hollow so there were a lot of cards that could be pulled and because of that i'm gonna give it a better rating than i initially stated and i also say that for 80 so dollars i wouldn't be mad if uh, if i got this for 80 dollars i would rather pay about 60 it is the second edition and of course i kind of think this is a good booster box so definitely let me know in the comments was this a good booster box or was it a bad one um because like i said I, I i haven't seen that many but let's say this is a good booster box so a bad booster box i would say I, I would pay about 55 for that so to give this a good box range based off that price i would say the price that you want to get this is at 70 dollars or so if you get it for 80 i wouldn't be mad if you get it for below 70 it's a steal if you see it for below 70 go ahead and get it and that is my recap let me know in the comments do you agree i'm out